A Tennessee man is being hailed as a hero after he helped rescue a one year old girl who went missing. This unfolded over the weekend in Lafayette, about 60 miles northeast of Nashville. Nikki Hauser spoke with the Good Samaritan about the actions he took to save the girl. Um, and I started with the bridge um, up here on Long Creek. For Stephen James, it was simple. It was a kid. Hey, I'd do anything for a kid. He first knew something was wrong Friday night. TBI put out an alert on a missing child, and police asked to search his property. He later learned this man, Gerald Blair, was on the run after a hit and run. The Macon County Sheriff says Blair ended up wrecking his car during the chase and took off with Mabry into the woods. Uh, to me, it was like seconds. Saturday morning, it took James seconds to realize they still weren't found and a neighbor's camera to learn they were just by the creek outside of his home. And I did hold him at gunpoint just, just to kind of be threatening and, and try to get control of the situation. He then told Blair to hand over Mabry. But I did tell him, give me the baby. You know, I don't, I don't care what you do, but just give me the baby. Actually, I think I was saying put the baby down and then uh, you walk back and I'll walk and get the baby. The two went back and forth until Blair finally surrendered. And it was almost like a feeling of relief. He knew it was over. James and his wife stayed with the little girl until first responders got there. But you could tell that he cared. It was just a bad situation for her. With a background in family medicine, James says the decision to get involved was an easy one. And I'm glad I got to do that, not because I wanted to be the one to do it. I'm just glad it turned out that way. Authorities say Blair had a seizure after handing over the child. He's now facing several charges, including child abuse.